What is up, XRP community? Is the market bottomed and has Ripple reached a settlement? Tons of exciting news in this video. Let's hop right into it. So guys, here we have a tweet from James K. Phelan, a lawyer in the XRP community. He says the SEC takes no position. They take no position here on the motions to file amicus briefs. Amicus briefs are when people not involved directly in the lawsuit want to get involved. So you have Investor Choice Advocate Networks and Spend the Bits Inc. Right? Last week, we had two other Ripple clients do these amicus briefs. And the SEC took a position on those. They pushed back against them, tried to deny them. So why is the SEC not pushing back now? Have they given up? Are they waving their white flag? That's strange. They have always objected amicus briefs. I wonder why they're not objecting. Because the settlement has already been reached and Ripple is advertising on Wall Street. Everybody's waiting for Great Britain to just get their ducks in a row. And then this ball game is happening. The switch will be flipped. Guys, the government is not your friend. I find a lot of my peers these days trusting the government, thinking they are here to help you. Govern means literally to control. I thought this really summed it up. The government, all they do is they take your money and give it to other people while you are generating all of the work and energy. The DXY, guys, this is the chart of the dollar. Okay? It has been on a parabolic tear. And when the dollar goes up, the markets go down. Finally, we have the dollar below 110. And this guy says it seems to be running out of steam going parabolic. If a sideways action can remain while below 110 until the end of the month, this could be the beginning of a big reversal for all the markets. What is the master plan of these elites, guys? Cash will be replaced with CBDCs. It will be stored in a digital wallet. The state has full control. That's what they want. They want to know where you are. They want to know how you spend your time. They want to know what you spend your money on. And they want to know your future decisions. Personal carbon tracking on your purchases. Look at this. The new British Prime Minister. You really can't make this up. She says the next stage is set to unfold, which will be a total collapse of the financial system. Who better to get the role than the man whose family owns a social credit score company? The World Economic Forum are totally on board with it. So this guy right here, Rishi Sunak, he's the new prime minister. And he also happens to be the son-in-law of... Narayana Murthy, the founder of Infosys. Infosys happens to be a leader in the digital currency, digital ID movement, and a partner to, drumroll please, the World Economic Forum. You can't make this stuff up. He's also a former Goldman Sachs banker, World Economic Forum member, and he's a social credit score salesman. The UK is done. Guys, not much is free in the world let alone money. But if you want some free stocks, you can get some free stocks with Webull. Just sign up, make an account and deposit a penny and you get guaranteed $41. Invest it, withdraw it, go buy some candy, but it's free. You could get 15,000, probably will just get between 41 and $300. All you gotta do is open an account and deposit a penny. Link is in the video description below. And if you guys like this content, hit the like button. I really do appreciate it. And guys, don't take the word out of my mouth. Take it out of Klaus Schwab, one of the biggest power players in the world. The US won't be run by US and China like we all think. It's gonna be run by private billionaires, the people really at the top, and they don't want you to know their name. Who will really command the fourth industrial revolution and its technology like artificial so intelligence? What's your sense of who's best placed at this time to lead the world into the fourth industrial revolution? Because you pretty much created this term. We're seeing the kind of technological strides that China has made with Huawei, with the 5G technology. Do you believe that this could potentially be China's time once again? We, we should make here uh, again a, a, let's say, a differentiation on the one hand 
we have uh, state capitalism. On the other hand, we have shareholder or private capitalism. So it's a clash between two systems. I, I believe that um, state capitalism in the short term in the short term provides uh, certain advantages because you can mobilize in a concentrated way a lot of resources to reach a specific objective. But I believe that the future is not state capitalism or shareholder capitalism. The future is what I call stake holder capitalism. In the short term, state capitalism, keywords short term, these global powers, US and China, in the short term will remain in power. But stakeholder, shareholder capitalism in the future is going to be the meta. And who are these shareholders? Who are these stakeholders? Well, who has the money? He who has the money has the decisions. And guys, the UK Prime Minister, this was interesting. He also... Not only is he the guy behind the social credit score, look at his folder change from red to green. Now, this could just be video editing, but I did find this interesting. Watch. He has this red folder. And now it's a green folder. Interesting stuff. And guys, I want to leave you with this video right here. If you're still watching, comment coffee i'm drinking coffee right now if you're watching you made it appreciate you being a loyal viewer comment coffee below and this guy he's one of the best investors that i like to follow his name is the master investor he's verified on instagram and it just goes to show the general populace coming around to crypto the crypto market has been down just like the stock market has been down what's your current thoughts on the state of crypto crypto will benefit from clear regulation once it comes in a lot of the blockchain space, right, is right now in limbo. The reason I say clear regulation is because you can't really build without fear of knowing whether when you build something successful is going to be attacked later by the SEC because you didn't know that you broke a rule that doesn't exist yet. Yeah. Right. So companies, I believe, that are fearful of putting too much money in this space and a lot of companies got cash reserves that's sitting on the side right now that they would probably love to employ with some of these ideas, right, to get them some exposure in some of these companies, but they don't want to later have that money tied up into a legal battle. There are so many security concerns and legal concerns that a person can't assuage a person away because nobody knows what the rules are. Regulation will benefit all of crypto. Right, This lawsuit, like we've said in the last video, it's not just about Ripple. The whole industry is looking at the lawsuit. And once there is regulation, once people know what they can and can't do, then there will be true growth. All right, you guys pat yourselves on the back. You are at the precipice of something great in the future of what they call Web 3.0, but is basically just the internet boom 2.0. Thank you again for watching. God bless you until next time.